What's up guys, this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you a Galaxy Note 5 port made uh, by Menu Pro and 5, I think that's how uh, everyone pronounce it, Menu Pro and 5. Anyway, this is a Galaxy Note 5 port for the Galaxy S4. Um, I found it on XDA and I got also I got also a request from one of my viewers to make uh, this video so I know I have been posting for a long long time well it's been about uh, two weeks since I last posted on my channel and right now as you may see I'm back and uh, with a new way of doing reviews so this review will be split into a uh, couple of categories starting from design going to performance smoothness um, how it behaves the battery life of course the features of this ROM the pros and the cons and uh, yeah that's how every review of mine uh, will look next period of time so let's start with the design okay let me zoom in onto this uh, important aspect of this beautiful AMOLED screen so since it is a port a Galaxy Note 5 port you will benefit as well as uh, you would on a Galaxy S6 port on, uh, you will benefit of this beautiful app developed by Samsung called Teams and Theme Store so this is a store where you can uh, easily customize every settings, every icon, every you know, every color of your device depending on what uh, mood you're on, uh, on what feelings you're on to into that uh, to that day. So I found it uh, really interesting. I got a dark team and most likely a light team that seems to be seems to me that it's better than the default one and the stock one this is a blue one as you may see I'll get to to this team so take a look at the notification bar it's all blue so blue also the wall user interface is kind of blue even the wallpaper and the lock screen effect as you may see the icons have been heavily modified as you may see and yeah so speaking about the design I would give it uh, a strong 9 of 10 rank of course so 9 of 10 I would say it is best 10 of 10 for me is that kind of ROM which is highly highly customizable and what do I mean by that so you can uh, you could by default set the clock into the center uh, you can you could uh, change the battery the battery icon you can as uh, as you may as you can do on uh, ASP ROM so that is for me a design design uh, category that deserves a 10 out of 10 so this since it is customizable but uh, not as customizable as an ASP ROM I would give it a, a strong 9 of 10 so 9 of 10 it is really good um, let's get into performance and I will speak about uh, how fast and how smooth it is or if it isn't I will give you uh, the reasons why I believe it isn't as I, I, I expect it to be um, First of all, when you install a couple of apps from the Google Play Store, for example, you may observe from time to time that it is lagging. It's not such a big deal. Okay, so it will lag on every device you'll buy. Doesn't matter if it is a Note 4 or Note 5 or Galaxy S5 or Galaxy S6, it will lag because it is Android and Android is lagging from time to time. This is not the end of the world it's not a major minus it lags a bit but if I w if I will go into the recent app panel as you may see huge lag 
and why does this happen well I give you my opinion about this fact about this lack this is a Galaxy Note 5 port made for the Galaxy S4 Galaxy Note 5 has way better hardware way better battery life way better I know battery life way has a bigger capacity if we speak about the battery life but having a more advanced hardware means that it would be uh, easier for the Galaxy Note 5 to run this than the Galaxy S4 so it's a port you must take into consideration that this is a port and it was ported from the Galaxy Note 5 that was running much better hardware uh, features than your Galaxy S4 so lag is supposed to occur so it's not such a big minus because you can't you can't really fix this thing okay sorry for my neighbors they're they're I don't know they, 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 they're, I think they're drilling something so shut the fuck up okay so sorry for the noise I'll, I'll try I'll try and make me uh, I'll try and remove the background noise okay so it stopped so speaking about the performance it is kind of good it's like any other port um, it's not the best but it's what you get from uh, a port so what you expect it's that what you get okay speaking about the smoothness of this phone as you may see I am recording this video at 60 frames per second 720p sorry if I'm not uh, uh, recording at 1080p it takes a hell of a lot of time to render it but if we're talking about the smoothness it is smooth enough to be your daily driver so if you're talking about smoothness uh, now the stability part I can't really prove how stable it is because I've been playing with this for I don't know maybe 15 or 20 minutes and I have uh, set up my Google account and installed and customized some tricks here uh, opened some apps and you know what I'm saying customizing theming it as you may see um, so it is stable I hadn't got any kind of force closes um, and uh, I'll get you to some apps in order to see how smooth it is sorry again for the background noise sorry guys my neighbors are drilling fucking drilling anything on their wall I don't know why I think they might they may have put a an LED on every single drill and every single hole they drilled and that's yeah fucked up so I was about to open the maps these apps calculator clock um, tools this is how a folder looks like okay Galaxy Apps Play Store I opened it earlier um, so yeah that was kind of it this is how it looks as you can see the scrolling in this um, recent app panel isn't uh, uh, isn't lagging at all it is really ex it's actually really smooth you can also see that we have multi window so you can choose from many apps in order to open up multi window so this is how it looks like okay, let me zoom in so multi-window is working I must assure you that uh, most of the features of this ROM are perfectly working including we'll test the ultra poor saving mode okay so 40% turn on ultra poor saving mode and see if that is working so as you may see power phone so it will learning usage patents estimated usage time remaining yeah I'll get out of this so turn off ultra configuring device please wait I think it's right now it's configuring some settings and that's why it uh, says right here learning usage patterns so we'll have to stick with this for a while 
Um, so let's okay, 88%. It's almost done, so we can disable it. Yep. I'll turn off ultra power saving mode. Oh come on! Uh, of course, we have the smart manager ported. You can uh, click clean all in order to free up some RAM. Speaking about the battery life, I don't know if you observed at the beginning of the video the percentage, just to make an idea of how fast it eats up the battery life. It's it it's, it eats up the battery. Sorry. Um, Again, we'll uh, we'll get into settings just to show you that I'm actually running the Note 5 um, port. Android version 5.1.1, build number N5 port, and it's running Aurora ROM. So, battery life is uh, highly influenced by the the kernel, which which is the battery, which is the Aurora kernel. Sorry, I open up, I open up opened up the music widget um, let me send myself a message actually not myself I'm gonna call 415 so this is how it looks like the call in call menu a little bit of lag here it looks exactly the same and I'll turn off the screen to see how it looks when we receive a notification the LED should pop out should turn on Come on, so yep, this is how it looks like. Notification, credit info. Let's see if ambient display works. Okay, so the screen is torn off. And it should fade from time to time. I don't know if I it is activated by default, I don't think so. It should have popped. Okay, no. The LED is blinking, but no ambient display. So, another cool feature. So, I've been through all the categories I told you the battery life, stability, and so on, performance design. But this RAM benefits of a feature that's been also ported from the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy Note. And this, uh, actually, the Edge version of these two mentioned, of those two mentioned earlier. Um, this is the S6 Edge screen. You can swipe to get these two pages when you, where you can open, you can fastly open your beloved apps. You can slide from this, or you can assign uh, one of your favorite or many contacts that you really need to access or to send an SMS, an uh, SMS uh, fast to them. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Let me show you the, the lock screen. I think you you will benefit of a, a lot of um, let me so lock screen security lock a lot of locking effect. Yeah, kind of it. So ripple, pull popping colors, geometric mosaic. I think this fits the best because I really like this one. So let let's see let's see how beautiful it looks like. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So apart from that, these all the apps that uh, this ROM comes with. That was pretty much it, I think. So this was the review of uh, Note 5 port for the Galaxy S4. I hope you like it. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. By doing this, you'll keep me motivating to use this kind of stuff, this kind of reviews, and of course you'll be updated with the latest updates you'll be updated with latest updates yeah i'm such a dumbass you'll be updated with latest roms latest firmwares and latest tweaks regarding the galaxy s4 running kitkat or lollipop or if we'll uh, have the major luck for uh, ternagon mode to release an android l version i will make a review of it as a p so as soon as possible thank you for watching guys with android is out bye bye